So what's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at official android 8.1.0 update for our oneplus 5 yes still it's an open beta 6 yes the open betas are still running and it just released the first android 8.1 base like literally i'm so surprised from the bottom of my part i can't even explain you guys i never thought oneplus would actually give the 8.1 update just like two months later of releasing the android 8.0 well it's still an open beta and for public release it would take another the month or so cause it's already pretty stable but there are some ui elements to be adjusted for example the quick settings panel as you can see it takes up almost like 2.5 to 3 centimeters from the top like literally it's not adjusted at all so that kind of normal things have to be still adjusted over here but let's just take a look and i'm not going to be wasting a whole lot of time of you guys by explaining every single feature in this update rather than that i would be only explaining you guys the features which are newer to the android 8.1 so starting with the ui it's pretty much the same as you can see there is a bug over there but you also get a wallpaper UI. so for example if i set any kind of vibrant wallpaper such as for this uh, yellow one if I drag down the notification panel, you can't actually make it through the camera, but there is a yellow tint over there. Well, in Android 8.1, you also get transparent notification panel throughout the system, but there is no such thing over here. Yeah, you just get this. And one more thing that I also forgot to tell you guys, I'm uploading my content now in 1080p 60fps. So if you want the total fluidity of my content, just tap over here or here, I don't know, to switch to 1080p 60fps. Then coming to the launcher which has been also a bit updated, you still get your normal quick shortcuts as you can see, they are also a bit updated. You have the shelf on the left as you can see just like before. But in the app menu as you can see there are a bit changes over here. You get all apps and you can now categorize them. As you can see there is disable history, you can search for your apps just by dragging over here. It reminds me of the trash budget from Lineage OS. But now you can also search for the apps directly over here and then there are categories for it. Such as for example if I select travel and tourism it gives me Google Maps, social it gives me Instagram, WhatsApp or anything that I have installed which is a very nice addition from OnePlus. Now let's just go to the settings where a bit of the things have been changed. For example, let's just go down over here, buttons and everything is just the same. If you go to gestures, you get all new options for answer calls by gesture. You can just pick up your phone and it will automatically enable the call. You also get quite a lot of bug fixes which also brings more bugs to Android 8.1. But still you get your normal stuff if you go to display, scrolling down, ambient display, you get newer clock styles which are like I guess there are three added over here, earlier it was this one, the clock totally to the left, then you have the newer squared one, the center and the standard one I guess. Going to advanced, as you can see, unlike before where user experience program had an expanded info, now you also get expanded info for receive notifications from OnePlus, stability improvement program, yes that's a new addition, but if you go to gaming do not disturb, you have few things changed over here such as gaming battery saver, where you can disable, have low option or the high, which really helps, it's just like the Samsung's game launcher. And you also get disable automatic brightness so if you have some wonky brightness due to you are placing your hands over here on the top you can just disable it right over there and also going down there you go oneplus switch is finally here so actually oneplus switch was announced during the oneplus 5t announcement and it's like the normal samsung smart switch thing or apple has it too if you want to quickly switch around your phones so if you go over here it gives you a very easy option to just switch out your phones you have to just agree all the permissions there you go it has very nice animations as you can see and it's finally over here so i'm really happy it's now kind of a bit more easier to just switch out your phones without using the normal google drive option and then going to the about phone scrolling down android version 8.1.0 as you can see also coming to the quick setting panel as you can see the toggles are now white again yes they would actually change this to blue again in the stable update but white kind of looks dope actually and they also switched around this for the volume panel and that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching this was a quick little review of the android 8.1 update for our oneplus 5 i hope you guys enjoyed and if you want more videos like this such as for example when this table one releases please let me know in the comment section below be sure to subscribe see you in the next one peace